Hello my friends, my name is Saint Jimmy apparently, and today we'll be playing some more Hearts of Iron 4. Uh, but this time we'll be using the Millennium Dawn mod. Whoa. Today we'll be playing a... You know, it's not as weak as Indonesia, but... But... It is... Not usually played, but in my opinion it is very underrated. We will be playing the mighty nation of India. Let's do this, boys. So, at the beginning of the Millennium Dawn 2000 start date, our great nation is ruled by Atal B. Vajpayee, yes, and uh, he will be leading our country into the future. I don't think we will be keeping him around. I, th I believe we will be going down the monarchist branch of our focus tree, yes. Uh, now, as India, we have a few things going for us. We're actually quite powerful. Uh, we have a shit ton of manpower, about 5 million. We have quite a few troops, and we're not doing half bad in the realm of uh, factories either. Now, the only bad thing about India is we don't have our own focus tree. Because apparently, the second large, no, the second most populous country in the world does not warrant its own focus tree. It has been almost a year since my last update, so I thought I'd give one. We are steadily progressing our monarchist influence throughout the country. We are about to empower the monarch in 40 days. Uh, we are moving steadily in building factories. But more importantly, we have a bit of a turn of events here. Our good friend Al Gore has won the United States Democratic election. Now, that is, uh, that is a bit unusual, as he did not in real life. The monarchists have come to power in the great nation of India, or as it is known now as the Great Raj. We are now ruled by the uh, Taj Mahal, yes, and I think next on our agenda is to start invading these cancerous tumours on our necks here, the, which are Nepal, Bhutan and Bangladesh, and I think we will be starting with the most cancerous of all, Bangladesh. Ah, uh, nothing much is happening in India right now. How about the rest of the world? Britain, what about you? Fucking hell, Tony, calm down! Okay, we are now at war with Bangladesh, and it seems we are going to win in about three seconds, so I've just declared war, by the way. Let's see how long this war lasts. Them on aggressive. As soon as we take Dhaka, we should win. It's taking a little longer than I expected, but still. But we're no, we're about to win. There we are. Wow. There goes that tumour, and our name is now kind of awkwardly placed across our country. I was expecting a massive buff from that country in terms of military factories, but no. No, it turns out they only had one. We are now justifying on Nepal, ruled by this man and his majestic hat. But uh, in other news, Afghanistan, ruled by Mr. Silhouette Man here, uh, has recently just been puppeted by the US. and. Uh, once again, we have another democratic country with no elections. Paradox! Get your shit together! It appears that Mr. Majestic Hatman's time as ruler has sadly come to an end, as we are about to declare war and take the country in probably an instant. This, law, this war is going to take uh, less time than the Bangladesh war, probably. Let's see. There we go. Jesus, fuck, that was loud. Okay. Well, there goes Nepal and the Majestic Hat. And our name... Is that more or less autistic? I really can't tell. Anyway, 
Now for uh, Bhutan. I have just discovered something most interesting. It appears at the start of the game we had the capability of making nuclear bombs. I didn't notice this at the start of the game, but uh, now that I now that I do know, well. While the British have been more and more joining the revolution, as you can see here, it appears the French have also joined the revolution, as they are now socialist, apparently. Uh, you guys, you guys do you, I, I guess? The time has finally come to remove the third and final tumour on our neck. Now, we are going to declare war on Bhutan, ruled by this man, who, quite frankly, looks like he should be running the Mafia. Now. It'll be quite a quick war, because, uh, well, we have 60 troops in their border, and they have three. Now, let's, let's declare war and see how long this war will last. There we go, boys. We won. Now... We have finally removed all the tumours here. So uh, next, I think next we're going to... Uh, this used to be a tumour of ours, but it, it kind of escaped. But uh, it, we still want it. We, we will still be taking our good friend Sri Lanka, ruled by the same person as Afghanistan, apparently. Mr. Silhouette Man. Well, we are attacking Mr. Silhouette Man here, and it looks as invading Sri Lanka may be harder than we thought. But, uh, as soon as we get a foothold on onto this province here, I think we should be able to get enough troops on to help out. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna... No, it's too not enough. I'm gonna get, like, that many. And for now, they can garrison in this province. You know, not even they can garrison there, and then we can bring them over when we get a foothold. So I'll I'll start recording again when something happens. Why am I so unlucky when it comes to fucking naval invasions? I just lost all my troops again. I don't know how to fucking play this game. All right, well. We can try again. Hold on, how many... No, that's not the right menu. Um, where is it? It's transport ships. Oh yeah, here we go. How many naval invasions can we do at once? Let's get... Another one here. Oh shit. We don't even have any. Oh, we lost all our tank divisions. Okay. And let's get a general here. And a general here. Now, if we attack here and attack here, hold on, where the pot here? Alright. Well, that should work out, I think. Hopefully. I don't know. We do 10 naval invasions at once. We'll have more of a chance. Alright, I'll start recording again once we actually get this right. Look at our fucking casualties! Holy shit! That is the scariest thing I've ever seen! Okay, okay. Now, while I have been complaining about how annoying Sri Lanka is, I have actually been justifying on Pakistan as well. So, let's declare war on them. Alright, we are about to navally invade Sri Lanka for the second time. Oh no, it's not working. Okay, I've got a solution. Oh fuck. 
Oh, I know why. Hold on. And also we need one bomber. Alright boys, how to, how to win a war! If that didn't fucking work... Oh my god, that didn't fucking work! Oh shit, well we're winning in Pakistan, fuck. I didn't even notice. Oh, I will take like a second capital. How is Pakistan easier than Sri Lanka? I fucking, I, I chucked two nukes at them and they're still not dead, but Pakistan, no, 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 they're just... Fucking paradox. I blame you. We just lost a naval invasion. How does this happen? How do you survive when you've been chucked when two nukes have been chucked at you? What is happening? Why? Why is Sri Lanka? What is I think I lost another ten divisions by the way. What is <sighs> They're close to no, they're not. Well, I have no idea what I'm going to do. I'm just going to continue nuking them until they give up. I don't think that's actually ever going to happen, but you know. Well, we have won against Pakistan. Sri Lanka is still holding up. I've chucked four nukes at them, but no, no, they're, they're, still, they're still being stubborn. Anyway, well, at least we've got Pakistan now. And now our name looks slightly less autistic. Okay. Here's my final plan. I have three naval invasions going off at once, attacking all three of their ports. I will be nuking all of those ports before I attack. Well, actually, while I attack. If this doesn't fucking work, I swear to God. Let's start nuking. Apparently one of our naval invasions didn't work. Ah, oh, no, we took the capital. Okay, now. Gonna encircle them like that. There we are. Just gonna stay there. I swear to god. Oh no, we're gonna... Okay, yeah, you go over here, that's a good idea. And you go here too. Oh, fuck. We have another nuke? I'll use that. Oh, I just nuked myself. But, we won! We finally fucking won! I swear to god. Fuck you, Mr. Silhouette Man. Fuck you. Well... I might finish now. This has been a... 
an interesting game to say the least. It has involved about six nukes, about 300,000 Indian deaths, and I think about five countries destroyed. I may do a part two in the next week, so thank you for watching so far.